Sorry tonight. Good. It's really good to see you. I'm glad that we were able to get together and kind of have a girls' night sleepover, if you will. I know it's super difficult for our schedules to line up these days. planned for us that I thought would give us a bit of a throwback, flashback, nostalgia to when we were kids and exactly we would have sleepovers. Mm -hmm. okay. So first of all, I thought that we could do a bit of a face mask. Mm-hmm. Get our skin relaxing <laughs> and to start our night off. How does that sound? Okay, so I have one of my favorites here. It's the mask of Magna Minty from Lush. Yeah, someone recommended this one to me and I got it for my birthday last year loved it ever since. It's really refreshing and kind of gives your skin that tingle, tingle, tingle. Yeah. Okay, so it's green. <laughs> Hopefully that won't scare you. It smells so good though. See, it's green. Definitely has the, the minty vibe to it. Um, yeah, so let's see. It says, face and body mask. Say goodbye to dirt and oil with this tingly fresh mask. Okay, so I'm gonna push my bangs back a little bit. Do you need hair tie or anything? Okay. No worries. I just don't want to get my bangs all goopy <laughs> right <laughs> okay so i guess i'll do my face first and then um, i'll put it on your face too okay okay good so i hope you don't mind me i'm gonna look down at my mirror here real quick why don't you catch me up on what's been going on with you Mm hmm Right. See? <laughs> That's the green goo. You still good? Definitely shouldn't talk about work too much, but since we're just catching up in general, I know that both of us have been working so much, it's hard to keep up. The joys of being an adult, right? Mm hmm. anything new that we haven't texted about? Oh yeah. When did that happen? Oh, okay. I think I remember you mentioning a bit of it, but you know, just in messages here and there. Mm-hmm. I think I'll feel much better when you look like a ghoul monster too, so I don't sit here like the creature from the Black Lagoon by myself, right? How 
How's your family? Good. Sometimes I put a little bit on my eyes. Obviously, you don't want to get it in my eyes, but just a little bit on my eyelids because my skin can be so dry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you remember, but it's nice to sometimes have like a little bit of that refreshing mask on those dry spots. So. Mm-hmm. I figured as much. Okay, are you ready for yours? bit more. your skin. Yeah. I love mint flavors or smells anyway, so yeah, I'm glad that this mask was recommended to me. Swiggle, and when you tell me to stop, that will be our special number to kind of predict your life. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'll remind you. So, M means mansion, apartment, either a shack or a shed, and then H is usually a house, but I've also heard people say hotel. Okay, we'll go with house. Some people even put an O on it, so it's Masho, and then the O stands for like outhouse, <laughs> and that can predict where you're gonna live. And then you can do so many categories for this, but I have people, city, number of kin, animal, celebrity BFF, um, money amount, cars, and job. Don't worry, I'll, I'll remind you with like how it goes because. It's silly, but it's fun, okay? So, basically, I'm gonna go through each category and ask you to name two things, and then I'll do the other two as well, okay? Mm hmm okay. So name two people in your life. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. 
and I will put it to people. Let's see. Name two cities. And then I'll name two. Give me two numbers. Okay, and I'll do two numbers. Give me two animals. I'll do two and, and okay. Give me two job titles. Okay, and I'll write two. Okay. Give me two types of cars. And I'll do two as well. Give me a dollar amount, like a money amount. Okay. And I'll do the same. And then name two celebrities. Celebrities. Let's see. And okay. So now that we have this all filled out, I'm going to start making like a circle line. And you need to tell me when to stop, okay? So I made the circle line here, and we'll count them. So we got one, two, three, four, six. Okay, so six is going to be our number, and I'm basically going to go down the list of our mash and count six, and then whatever one I land on, I'll cross it out. Okay? Okay, so we'll start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 
the life figured out here. So let me read you the predictions from our MASH game for you, okay? So, you will live in a mansion. You are going to marry Betty. You will live in Seattle. You will have zero kids. You will have a cat. You will be a model that drives a Corvette. You make $20 an hour. And your celebrity best friend is Sophia Bush. <laughs> that is the, the MASH game for you. I have a couple other um, games that we can do, but let me look. I think my mask needs a little bit longer, just to dry a little bit more. Yours does a little bit too, looks like. So in the meantime, I do have some movies that we can pick from for later. Yeah, I just grabbed like some, I don't know, like chick flick movies from my collection. I have so many movies, but I wanted to give us some options. So I think I brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options, okay? So this one is fried green tomatoes. Have you ever seen this one? Let's see. It says, When an unhappy housewife befriends a lady in a nursing home, she hears a remarkable tale of laughter, devotion, and a special friendship that defies all obstacles in this heartwarming film from acclaimed director John Anvit. It's a really good movie. It is based off of a book, but um, it's a good movie. This is the extended version. Yeah, one of my favorites, although I think that I brought could be classified as some of my favorites, so. Okay, so we have fried green tomatoes. Then we have The Age of Adeline. I love this movie. It's such a sweet movie. I love it so much. <laughs> so, um, this says, Blake Lively is captivating as Adeline, a 29-year-old who survives a near-death experience and from that day on never grows older. Adeline guards her secret in her heart for eight decades until a charming man and his parents force Adeline to confront her destiny in an unforgettable tale about the timeless power of love. So this has Blake Lively, um, Michelle Huseman, Kathy Parker, Harrison Ford, We have my favorite Cinderella movie, and that's Ever After. I can watch this movie a million times. I think it's like the best Cinderella movie out there, but so yeah, it's just kind of like the Cinderella story, but you know, without like the magic. It has Drew Barrymore and Angelica Houston in it. So you have obviously, you know, the ball and the evil stepsisters and mother and stuff. Um, it's a bit more, like, realistic. You don't really have, like, the fairy godmother and things like that. But it's, it's a really good movie. Let's see. I also brought, um, a Stepmom, which is another movie that I can watch all the time. This, a couple sad parts, I will warn you, but it's still really good. You have Julia Roberts and Susan Sarandon, so... <laughs> Not much of a description on this one, but it says Julia Roberts, Susan Sarandon, and Ed Harris star in a touching story of unlikely friendship between two remarkable women. A hilarious, poignant, heartfelt drama. It's very sweet. Okay. Um, on the funnier side, I also um, brought He's Just Not That Into You, which has so many people in it. There are so many people in this movie. Like, let's see. 
Ben Affleck, Jennifer Aniston, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Connelly, Kevin Connelly, Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Goodwin, Scarlett Johansson, Justin Long. It's really funny, <laughs> especially for like the single people out there, but even there's some parts like for people that are in relationships, it's pretty funny. It says, remember that really cute guy who said he'd call and didn't? Maybe he lost your number. Maybe he's in the hospital. Maybe he's awed by your beauty, brains, or success. Or maybe he's just not that into you. <laughs> An all-star cast uh, looks for love and finds laughs in this savvy, sexy, right-now rom-com. So lots of different people. Um, definitely some funny parts. And, you know, some serious thrown in there, too, but it's pretty good. Two more. I know I'm giving you too many options, I'm sorry. We have Where the Heart Is, another one of my favorite movies with uh, Ashley Judd and Natalie Portman. Yeah, let's see. Ashley Judd and Natalie Portman star in this offbeat, delicious slice of life about a down on our luck southern teen who, after gaining 50 minutes of fame for giving birth to the Walmart baby begins to put her life together with the help of the kind, quirky strangers who become her surrogate family. It's a really sweet movie, and, you know, I'm a fan of Natalie Portman, so... Okay. And then, we cannot go wrong with Dirty Dancing. I love this movie as well, could watch it a million times. The remake is horrible, so we will only talk about <laughs> the original. I'm sure you've seen this, right? Yeah. I mean, is there really a need for... Let's see. In the summer of 1963, innocent 17-year-old Baby vacations with her parents at a Catskills resort. One evening, she is drawn to the staff quarters by stirring music. There, she meets Johnny, the hotel dance instructor, who is as experienced as Baby is naive. Baby soon becomes Johnny's pupil in dance and love. I love this movie. <laughs> so, those are um, some of the movies that I've got. Hopefully, we can kind of pick from those which one we really want to watch tonight. Or maybe we'll stay up late and we can watch multiple. Okay, let's see how this mask is looking. Okay. Sweets. I think I'll go ahead and start to wipe yours off first, and then I'll do mine, okay? I just have a warm washcloth here, is that okay? Okay. Yeah, it should feel really nice against your skin. Just kind of flake off a little bit because of the hardened bits, but that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do.
Yeah, exactly. is this other game of sorts a uh, game or you know I remember kind of doing it for like relaxation or sleep yeah so it's like have you ever done the like crack an egg on your head yeah okay so um, I'll go ahead you and see if you like it, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna move a little closer to you if that's okay. Yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of move a little bit around your head here and your shoulders if that's okay. Is that okay? an egg on your head. Let the yolk drip down. Drip down. Drip down. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk drip down. Squeeze an orange on your shoulders. Let the juice drip down, drip down. Squeeze an orange on your shoulders. Let the juice drip down. Rip down. Tight squeeze. Cool breeze. Do you remember your ABCs? And can I see your arm? your arm with my finger. Okay. What letter is this? Let's see. What letter is that? H. Good. How about um good. letters in your palm this time. So what letter 
is this? What letter is this? D G Good job What about Yep, that's a Z Good job You move to this side of you now Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk drip down. Drip down. Squeeze an orange on your shoulders. Let the juice drip down. Drip down. Cool breeze. Do you remember your ABCs? You see this ball? Okay. What letter is that? A V. Good. What letter is an N? A B. Good. What about this one? Mm L. Good job. Good. Good job. Do you remember doing that or playing that game as a kid? <laughs> I always found it to be extremely relaxing, but maybe that was just me. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk Drip down, drip down. Squeeze an orange on your shoulders. Let the juice drip down, drip down. Tight squeeze, cool breeze. The version that I did. I know that you can say, now you've got the shiveries, or now you've got shivers. Yeah. I think there's another part about, like, stabbing you in the back, <laughs> but that's slightly morbid for relaxation, in my opinion, so. Yeah. Me and my friends used to just stick to the egg and the orange. Mm -hmm. All right. So, before we make our final selection on what movie we want to watch, I did bring some candy for us. So, this lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. Rock candy and rock crystal candy. Um, this one is a pineapple candy. Are you gonna pick? Enjoy this kind of candy. I was gonna ask you for this one anyway.
Dirty Dancing. Where the heart is. He's just not that into you. Honestly, trying to figure out if I can taste the pineapple on this or not. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, let's see, what time is it? I mean, we could probably at this point watch two of them without being up way late. I know that both of us don't have to work tomorrow, so that's always good. Okay. Okay, sounds good. I know I'm horrible, especially with the raw candy. I turned my best. Some of it. These are the bits that were in the. I guess it does have a bit of a pineapple taste. Does yours taste like multi flavored? I know. I think it said like it was rainbow or something like that, so you never really know what that flavor is going to be. movie you want to watch. Let me grab some comfy bits. I have this extra soft and comfy pillow that I thought that you could borrow if you like. It's so soft. and comfortable while we watch the movie. Okay. Perfect. Well, you enjoy the rest of your candy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this movie in. Do you want any popcorn, chips, something to drink? Yeah, I have a sodas. Um, I think you even have iced tea. And if you're feeling a little chilly, I do have like some different hot chocolates as well. Perfect. I'll go ahead and get the movie going. 